Lee, it's a, a cup win, but probably not in the style you were hoping for. No, I think it, you know, go back to my interview on Saturday. Yeah. You know, chalk and cheese, isn't it? You know, inconsistent players, I think, not respected the opposition. Um, players uh, not working hard enough. Players not sticking to their job in the last 20 minutes. And, then, and in the end, for as much control and possession and, and than we had, I thought we could have lost the game in the end. And I think we're very lucky to be in the next round. I'm really, really pleased we are. I've got to take some positives. And Tommy Brewer's played. Josh has got his second game with Tyre. Tafari's come back from COVID. He, he looked a little bit tired second half. Corks has got minutes. Luca's got some minutes. But from the standards we set as a management team, we're dropping way below them again tonight. And it's, it's, it's driving me mad, to be honest. So what can you do about it? Because ultimately you're, you're the guy in charge, you're the one that chooses the players, you pick the team, what can you do? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna, not gonna panic. You know, we're not, I'm not concerned. You know, I think we've got a very good change room. When we're good, we're very good. You know, it's, uh, if that playoff becomes out of reach, which at the moment it's not mathematically impossible, then, then we need to start looking and building for next year. And if they don't want to come for the ride and, and do what we ask them week in, week out, then they'll have to leave the football club and we'll have to replace them with people that do. Because you can't, as I said to them there, you probably heard me, you can't drop your standards. Every game is a, is a must-win game. Every game is a game that you have to put your heart and soul and your effort into it. And when you don't do that, and when you come here with the wrong mindset and you don't perform to the standards you've set on Saturday, then it, it's not good enough, and it, and it wasn't good enough in the last 10, 15 minutes. I thought we controlled the second half really well, um, but we just got very sloppy, and, and the second goal, and then we were all out of attack, and they were all out of attack, and they could have won it. So we go into a, into a penalty shootout, and it's always nervy. Were you confident we get through? No, no, no. Listen, you've seen a couple of our penalties tonight. They look like they didn't really want to take the penalty, or if, whether they wanted to stick it away or not. And listen, Fred's done great, and please, for Fred, he deserved that. And, and we've come through it in the end, and it's a, the, the thing is with that, it's a lottery, you know, but we, we could have lost the game, and um, we need to assess it. Again, it's, it's so difficult at the moment because you don't want to get too low when you're not playing well, you don't want to get too high when you are playing well and winning. I thought Saturday was excellent, really, really good, solid performance. I thought tonight we looked miles off. So we have to try and sit in the middle of that and find out what's going to be our best side and, and try and get a performance out of them on Saturday. But I think we're all like it at the moment. We don't know what we're going to get. And that's the frustration because when I watch these boys, when I watch them train, when I see Jaden and Hamza, how good they are, when they drop below their standards and not just them but other players, it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating because as I keep saying to them, I think they can go on to the Football League but they've got to find the consistency. And you know, we, we left Hamza out tonight just to give Corks a game because of Saturday. And you know, I want him to come on and, and inspire people and show how good he is. And he never knows watching. And I'm a big believer in that. There could have been someone here watching players tonight and you've got every chance to go and put yourself in the shop window. And I think a few of us let ourselves down tonight and that's, shot, that's, that's poor. But again, we must take the positives of Tommy Brewer 90 minutes, Josh 90 minutes, um, Tafari 90 minutes. Luca half hour, Cork 60, Annie 60. So there is positives, but we were a long way off where we normally are. Listen, and I've got to take in that we've played the new shape again tonight, which is going to take a bit of time. I don't think it overly suits us, but when we're, we're right and we're at it, then we're, we're good at it. But it's the second time we've played it all year, so we've got to um, try, and, uh, try and embed it if we go that way on Saturday, but we might have to go back to what we know. It's a, big, it's a big day for the club on Saturday, as, as we remember a Hendon legend, Dermot Drummy and Truro are the visitors. Yeah, listen, I get on very, very well with their manager, top guy, and fantastic career, and a really good side. And as I just said to them there, you perform like that, there's only one winner on the day, but we won't. And that's what frustrates me, that's what, that's what drives me mad. Um, so I expect a really hard game, two great front two. It's the team that were top of the league 18 months ago. So, you know, they've got a lot of games in hand. I expect them to be up there. I think Paul does as well, they're, they're gaffer. So um, we've got to be on job. And if we're not, and if we go rogue like we did for the last 10 minutes tonight, we'll get proper beat. And um, I don't want that to happen. So delighted we got through tonight. Really delighted. You know, listen, you've got to take them games. You see Beaconsfield last night only winning on penalties and, and things like that against Sandhurst. So we're through. It's one that we just push to the side and, and concentrate on Saturday and focus on the performance we put in last Saturday and, and try and go again.